Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate you. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing with you guys. Actually, I opened the box just now for TikTok. I'm excited. So I got all these books from uh, Roving Eyes on Instagram. It's a bookstore in Abuja. Uh, I think they also have a branch in Lagos, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I'm sure happy, okay? So it was delivered this morning and yeah. The first one I can see right now is this one, My Sister the Serial Killer. Uh, I've been seeing this book everywhere and I've been wondering what exactly the book is about because I'm just curious actually. I don't know what it's about, but yeah the cover is really pretty it's by oyinkan brave white wow okay the next book i got is this one. Oh my god this one is very popular everywhere like i didn't even know it was this size i thought it was a very big book because when i see it in pictures it looks so big but this is the invisible life of adi larue by v schwab this is my first v schwab book but i know People like this author and they read this book people also like this book that's why I got it actually it's about a lady that lived for a very long time she made a deal with the devil or something and she's living for a very long time but if she meets you and she turns her back she the person forgets who she is so I'm like okay I like to read that I like to actually see what happens people really like this book a lot oh my god this one I can see Ali's award already so I have my receipt. Ali Azelwood's new book, Love Theoretically. Oh my god. Oh, I love I love the love hypothesis and love on the brain. They are one of my favorite books. So I can't wait to actually read this. This is a new, I think it's a new release. Okay. A million kisses in your lifetime by Monica Murphy. So I realized that I think this book is either part of a series or something that i think there's also a spin-off series that follows this or this follows another i don't know but all the books look kind of alike so i'm not really sure but i actually plan to get the remaining before i'll find out actually i'll find out before i read it because i actually like to follow the series even if it's uh, standalone i still like to follow how it comes because that's just who i am steph bar loves this book i think so <gasps> Oh my god, you guys, this one. <gasps> okay, so let's start with this. Happy Ever After Playlist by Abby Jimenez. Oh my god, I've been I've been so looking for this book. Yes, but it's the second book of the part of your world. Yeah, also by Abby Jimenez. So I'm actually looking for I'm looking to get uh, part of your world first before I read this. So I'm just gonna keep it. I don't know. And I, I heard that it has playlists like uh, I think Taylor Swift songs are in it, and I'm I'm a huge fan of Taylor. I love Taylor Swift songs, so yeah, there's some songs in it. I can't wait to actually read this. Oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys! <laughs> the next one I got is a memoir, and it's this one. I'm glad my mom died by Janet McCurdy. She's an actress in this iCarly series. Yeah, so people said it's actually really. Cool reading this book so i wanted to actually give it a try so that's why i got it let's see if the dust if i remove the dust jacket how it looks oh it's actually really pretty it's cream i don't know if the camera is catching the color but it's cream and it's cute the next one i got is this one verity by colin Uva. of course you guys know by now that i'm a huge colin Uva fan so I had to get Verity. This is one of the books that people said got them into reading again. So I want to actually try it. And I decided to get the ad cover because the this ad cover has an exclusive new chapter. Yeah. So I was so excited to get this one. I think it's a mystery. Oh, and it has this. This is cute. Why does it look like it's signed? It's signed by the author. Digitally, actually. They're already there. But it's signed by Colin Uva, and I love Colin Uva. I'm so happy I got this. Wow, wow, I'm happy. The box says open if you dare. See, <laughs> that's actually crazy. Robin Knight actually gives me a receipt for each book. That's crazy. 
like, can you see this? Roman Heights. I've removed that many receipts now, in case I forgot the price or something. Yeah. I got this book, Building Your Marriage Before It Begins by Chao Tsuma with James Suma Wenje. I don't know. But I got two copies because I want to give one to my friend. She's getting married and I was like, okay, I don't know how else, what else I can do before, you know, she gets married and then we'll go for the wedding and stuff like that. So I'm actually planning to give out one copy and then I have one copy for myself so I can read it also. I just hope it's really, really good because <laughs> imagine me giving it to somebody else and I don't know if it's good. So yeah, this is how it looks like. It's actually really cute. That was another thing that actually drew my attention to it. The the cuteness oh my god i have a class in the next five minutes so i got this one along with you in the ether i like books that are big like this like they make me feel like you're not reading a book oh my god my battery is low i already have the atlas six but i've not collected it from the, another vendor so when that comes i and i think the atlas six has a book too so i think i'll read this first maybe just you know it's a yeah it's even written here best out of the atlas six so i can't a lot of people actually respect this author so they say she's very good i don't know if it's a she or a he but yeah you guys all these books i got are actually really beautiful then the next one i got is how the king of elfim learned to eat stories <laughs> okay this book is like i think the folk of hair series yes the cruel prince the Wicked King, the Queen, Queen of Nothing. These three books, I have them, but but on another vendor with another vendor. So when they come, I will read those ones first. I think this is supposed to be the last one, and I was when I saw this, I was like, okay, I'm so excited. And the fact that it's not a big, I don't know how to explain it, but the book has pictures. See, it has illustrations, and I think this is really really cute. I'm so happy about this one. Honestly, I'm glad I actually bought it because. I was at one point I was like, is it really necessary? But yeah, I got it. Let's see what's under the dust jacket. <gasps> I love this. I love this. I don't know if you guys heard that, but the, the breeze was also so loud right now. Oh my god. I love when under the dust jacket there's something. And you don't just give me a blank book, like I mean a bland book like that. But this is actually really cute. And also this page guys i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy <laughs> the folk of hair series the crow prince and the other ones i got that one as a box set so when they come i'm going to show you guys those ones too i don't think i'm receiving them this month though because i i have quite a lot of books to be read you know what i'm excited about the most i'm excited about oh my god what's the time i have to miss my class i'm excited about this one the infamous happy place that everybody has been talking about so when i saw it i could not i could not but snag a copy it talks about two people they are friends with some other people so they went on a vacation and um the two of them are no longer dating but they had to like fake dates for their friends some people say they really really don't like the book because it's actually crazy and some people say they really love the book that it touched them it's five stars for some people and Two stars for some people, and I don't know why. I want to know. I want to know. I've read uh, Book Lovers by Emily Airy, and I've read You and Me on Vacation. I didn't like You and Me on Vacation because it was kind of. <laughs> but I loved Book Lovers, so I think I should love this too. I also ordered for Beach Reads, but it's not here yet. Ah! I'm excited about this one too! Okay, this one, Set on You by Emily. Yes, this one. Um, it's. I think it is the book two of the no no this is the book one set on you then the book two is x's and o x in x's and o's basically oh they are like screenshots here i think it's about an influencer and a bodybuilder something like that but it looks really really beautiful and cute so why not this one yellow face by rf kwan at the back it says this this is one l of a story it's just not hers to tell so it talks about the publishing industry, the dark secrets in the publishing industry, and um, a lady stole a friend's writing stuff and decided to publish it as her own. And then it talks about the dark secrets in the publishing industry, most of people of color and stuff like that. So I, I actually want to read this. I want to see what the hype is about. 
and I am heavy. Look at under the dust jacket, there's a high, but it's black. <laughs> I wish it was yellow or something. I know about one of our books, Babel, but I've not read it either. But I plan to actually get it soon too. Oh my god! Oh my god! So I got these three books before the coffee gets cold. It's a series. I think there are five books, but I could only get three right now. I plan to get the rest later. So this is the before the my receipt. Before the coffee gets cold. Before the get coffee gets cold. Tales from the cafe. Before your memory fades so they are actually really small books they are just about 200 not up to 300 pages the three of them so uh, this should be a very very quick read for me and honestly let's get into the covers guys the covers are so cute that's what drew me to it but i heard later on you know this kind of thing where you see something you've not seen before and then after you've seen it that first time then you start to see it and start to see it and start to that was exactly what happened to me with this book <laughs> and then i started seeing the book then i saw it on another video and i saw it on another video i was like okay this is a sign for me to get it yeah so i got it i think it talks about people that time travel and you must come back before the coffee gets cold i honestly want to get into these soon then the last thing i ordered for is this cute tote bag I have I don't have a tote. I, I tried making one for myself, but I I think I made it too soft. But this is a tote. I can actually carry out if I want to go anywhere. And it says booked and busy. Yeah, so cute, right? Cute, cute, cute. So guys, um, I forgot to add some books. I got these ones. I got from Asterix books and toys on instagram also so i want to show you guys i got restore i mean sorry <laughs> i got unravel me the terra Murphy shatter me series so now i have the complete shatter me because i also got restore me too from the series so these two books complete my series so i have the all nine books including the november uh, novembers including novellas also then i also got the complete series for good girl's guide to mother I have now gotten as good as dead and also good girl bad blood this is a good girl's guide to mother so it's complete I know there's also killjoy which I also got from another vendor so that one's going to be coming up in another haul I got Cersei by Madeline Miller Madeline Miller Cersei I heard that it's a Greek retelling, so I can't wait to read it. I've never read any Greek retelling before. I also got Song of Achilles, but it's not here yet, so I have to wait for that also. So, uh, it's the same author for this, but this book is actually tiny, to be honest. I wish it was the bigger size, because the writings are very, very small. I ain't gonna lie. Then the next book I got was this one, Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yearn. It talked about a lady that I think she sees when she kisses when she kisses someone she sees i don't know i don't know she shall see things so i i'm excited about this it's actually a very floppy book so i am sure that i will enjoy it and the writings are actually really big also so the pages are also very scanty but i've seen this book everywhere the sun is also a star by this same author and when i saw this i was like okay let me get it let me see if i, I might like it i've not read the other one either and this is the biggest book i have <laughs> Maybe not the biggest, but the, it's very gigantic. This one, The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This book is 800 pages, guys. 800 pages. See how big book is. But I ain't going to say anything about it because most of my students says that they, 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 they like it. It's a YA fantasy kind of book. I don't know if it is romantic or just purely fantasy, but I would... Oh my god, I don't know when I'm going to read this book. <laughs> it looks so scary. <laughs> a world divided, a queendom without an heir, an ancient enemy awakens. So, and I can see a dragon, so I'm like, okay, okay. You guys know first wing has been blowing up the internet, yeah? I'm going to get that fourth wing. I'm looking for it. I'm going to get it. Yeah. So I got one, two, seven, eight, eight. I got eight books from Asterix Books and Toys on Instagram. Then I got... I got 17 books from Rowing Heights. I just received the package out I've been waiting for and that's what I want to unbox right now but I want to open it on TikTok. Wait. Oh yeah. Just straight out cut. Oh my god. So 
I just finished unboxing. You guys, it was so cool. Oh my god. Okay, so I got this ones from Spence and Label Books in Abuja. That's a bookstore. This is how it looks like. I got Ace of Spades by Farida Abike E. Mide. So, oh, uh, you guys, this book is so cute. I am not going to lie. Well, I bought this book because of the cover. I looked, I searched for the cover specifically for this cover because there's another cover, but this one is actually the cutest cover I've ever seen. Like, if I get a bookshelf, when I get my future bookshelf, this is definitely going to be one of the books I will, I will actually uh, display. Okay, okay. So the art cover does not have, this is how the interior looks like, but the, there's no design on it. I actually don't like when books are plain, but all the same. Next one, uh, Tokyo Ever After. I've seen this book like since last year, but I just never found someone that was selling it. So I'm so happy to get this. I have no idea what this is about. I just like the fact that, you know, it's like Japan, is it Japanese or Korean? Yeah, Japanese. So I was excited. I wanted to get this book for a very long time. I didn't even know that it was a hardcover book, but there's a little, like a little stamp here that looks so cute, but it's not obvious to me. The last book I got is Van der Waals by Van der Waals. Oh, the Van. <laughs> I said Van der Waals like <laughs> like in chemistry. The Van der Waals board. The Van der Beekers of 141st Street by Karina Yan Glacier. I've never seen this book anywhere. I just got it because of the cover and it's a very floppy book. So it's something that I should be able to breeze through. And there are pictures in it. Look at this. There are pictures in it, so I can't wait. It says it's five days before Christmas and the Van der Beekha children should be dreaming about sugar plums and presents. But when they're komudi, komujili, I don't know what word that is. Landlord mysteriously refuses to renew their lease. The five siblings must find a way to change his mind before New Year's. All they have to do is show him how wonderful they are, right? But as every well-intentioned plan goes comically awry, <laughs> what the Van Der ultimately need is a Christmas miracle. Funny, heartfelt, and as lively as any street in Harlem. This cozy family novel is about the connections we make and the unexpected twists and turns life can take. Honestly, I can't wait to get into this and my battery is empty. And the last one is this, but not from Spines and Label. Babe and I went out and we saw this book. You guys, I already ranted in my vlog, but let me just say, like, why? I have over 100 books and my babe... Shut up! <laughs> And babe will not pick one of them to read, but instead when we go out and he says, okay, this is the one he wants to read This is the one he wants to read you guys. Well, I've never seen this book in my life. So it's the rise Afonja Afonja <laughs> Afonja Afonja Ad By Tunde Leye basically So I don't know anything about the book. So yeah, Hopefully he will read it. It's still in the wrap and I'm going to leave it like that. I, I've given him the ultimatum of the end of August. He should read this book finished by the end of August and this is July. July 15. July 15. You guys, July 15. So he has a whole freaking month plus to read this book. Let's see. So that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed my, I hope you enjoyed my all. I'll see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and deuces. It completes my. That was Siri again. <laughs> I'm so excited. What? Well, this thing is here. I'm good my class. See you guys soon. Can I take it on now?